Hi everyone, today we are here with another role play. So in this role play, the nurse is talking to a woman who has who had undergone a hip replacement surgery. Now she's getting discharged. Discharged and mm -hmm. she's getting worried. Yes. What's going to happen? Yeah. What all she needs to, mm -hmm. you know, precautions yes. that she needs to keep in her mind and how she is going to adapt, adapt to, it, to it, right? Yeah. So we'll see how the role play yes. goes. All right, Tina, we'll start the role play. Okay. You can start. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Tina Thomas, and I'm a registered nurse working in this ward. And how are you, Georgina, today? Uh, well, nurse, I'm, I'm okay, but I'm having pain. I'm having a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. I certainly understand that you will be having severe pain. Yeah. And by the way, Georgina, you have recently undergone hip replacement surgery, right? That's right. Okay, and it's almost a week back. Yeah. And and the doctor told me that you're getting discharged today? Yes, mm -hmm. and I'm a little concerned. I have mm -hmm. a lot of concerns about that. Oh, no problem. That's the right time and I'm here to help you out. Please tell me what's go troubling you. Yeah, after the operation, mm -hmm. I, I still have the pain. Uh -huh. So I was wondering how long will it take to reduce the okay. pain? Okay, so Georgina, the pain will be there. Yeah, because we had undergone, like you had undergone a total hip replacement surgery. Mm -hmm. So for this surgery, even after the surgery, at least for three to four weeks, you will have this persistent pain. Okay. For the pain to reduce, we are giving you pain medicines. But mm -hmm. uh, around three to four weeks, it can completely, it just it can just wave off. But I, I can't move properly mm -hmm. and uh, I'm not able to stand and I certainly walk. understand because hip is the place where which carries the whole weight of the body. Mm -hmm. So certainly you won't be able to walk. So initially we're not going to make you walk, mm -hmm. but maybe with the help of a walker. Okay. Now you, what you need is you need to have a complete blood rest okay. and uh, you, need, you should not move around. You should not turn that side. Okay. You, we'll be giving you a wedge pillow uh -huh. so where you need to keep it in between. Uh -huh. And uh, the movements will be a little bit restricted for the first two weeks by mm -hmm. the time your pain also will be reduced so I know when we say it's easy mm -hmm. but when you're going to do it it's going to be a little difficult yes. for you I certainly understand from your side but don't worry it's only for your benefits we are telling this okay okay so when will I be able to walk properly uh, well uh, like I, I cannot uh, you mm -hmm. know say that for this long it will take for you to walk because it differs from person to person right okay so as I have seen among all the patients it nearly takes around three weeks after three weeks you can start to walk and even your pain also will start to reduce uh, okay? okay is that clear yeah mm -hmm. that's fine and is there anything else that you need to ask me uh, yes do I need to take any precautions after going home oh yes regarding the precautions the first important precaution that you need to take is you need to take a lot of rest mm -hmm. and your movement should be restricted for at least two weeks okay and even after two weeks we'll be providing you a wheelie walker mm -hmm. where we can where you can walk we'll be providing you a physiotherapist assistance so without this assistance you are not supposed to hold anybody else's hand and walk because it is your hip and you had undergone a certain for that okay? okay and then some other precautions is just see that no visitors come and see you mm -hmm. because there can be chances for cross infection okay. change your dress every day and the uh -huh. dressing which is given as when the doctor has instructed there will be a nurse coming there to change your dressing so uh, mm -hmm. is it required that I have to follow all the steps oh yes Georgina you need to follow all these things because then only you will be able to recover from this Mm -hmm. Because we need optimal recovery, right? Yes. So you need to walk again, mm -hmm. right? You need to reduce the pain. Yes. So when you when we have all these three agendas in your mind, mm -hmm. we have to look forward into all these things. Yes? Okay. Okay. And then is there anything else that you would like to know? Yeah, if I don't follow all this, will something happen? Oh, definitely it will happen. The thing is, if you don't follow, there can be chance for severe, you know, pain to happen again, remission. And then sometimes infection can be caused if you're not going to take your medicines in all properly, mm -hmm. if you're going to have a lot of visitors coming and cross infection then there can be chances for you to do a second surgery on that oh. so for the first four weeks that is for one month complete rest and proper food 
proper medication, proper everything should be very very necessary. Mm -hmm. Then you can recover properly. Okay. All right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Is there anything else? No. No. So don't worry. Mm -hmm. We are here to help you mm -hmm. out, and that's why I have come here. I hope all your concerns are, concerns yeah. have been addressed. Yes. Yes. And we are here to take care of you. And if mm -hmm. you find anything or any problem, you can get back to us. We'd be there to help you out. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you.